learn how to run the perfect IPS session, and learn what song has made a photographer over a million dollars. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use Fundy Designer to conduct the perfect IPS session with your clients. The goal of a successful sales session is to have a completed order form with your logo, date, customer name, they've ordered an album with notes on their cover material, wall art with notes, any prints they want to have, save the date cards, thank you cards, etc. In addition to any other products that you can have and Funny Designer supports everything, you can edit all of your pricing and add all of your pricing under client orders, edit product pricing. That will be another video tutorial. Let's show you how to do this successfully. And a successful sales session always starts with a slideshow. You can access the slideshow here with this play button, or if you are in the main window, click on the slideshow icon to open that slideshow window. Everyone likes to build their slideshows differently. You can build it with only images, or as I have here, images that are rated five star, and then a title of the person's album, the actual album design, wall art and wall art designs. And then you can set the background color, which I have to black and the front color, which I have to white. You can also add your studio logo, slides of the cards, more title slides if you wanna put in your studio name, website address, etc. Next is to choose your song, Wedding Song 2 has the biggest success in IPS sessions. It is not an exciting song, but it makes a ton of money. So if you're new or would like to increase your sales, give Wedding Song 2 a try and we think you'll be pleased. If you'd like a different song, you can always hit the delete button and add any song in our library. You can download more songs from the design library for free included in your subscription, or you can import a custom MP3 or WAV file if you're on a PC. From there, you can set the length of the slides. You can choose different slide length depending on album slide, image slide, card slides. And once you've set up your slideshow, just hit save and it is ready for that in-person sales session. To start a session, hit the slideshow, hit the play button. And once your clients are ready, go ahead and hit that space bar and the slideshow will begin. And it's a beautiful crossfade a very mellow slideshow because you want your clients to focus on the photos and the design, not the music and fast transitions. After the slideshow, if the clients need to choose what image they want to replace in an album or order a five by seven, simply double click on a thumbnail or click on this icon. And up at the very top, you can close these tabs and there is an AB option here. And let's go ahead and bring up the thumbnails and you can hold your command or control key and select multiple photos and that will allow you to work with your client to narrow down which photo they want to have in the album wall art etc additionally you can just work with them in the main window to customize their design if you would like your client to have a little bit less control over the design process whenever you have an album spread or wall art piece selected in the main window you can have this window on a separate monitor separate projector separate tv screen and when you click this top right icon it will show just the design that you have selected so if we select a different design or different piece of wall art it will show only that design in this window. If you are in the album, you can click on this plus icon, choose the album they want to order, and then choose the pricing that you would like to use, whether it be wedding album, portrait album, engagement album, all of these pricing names and how you price them out depends on how you set it up in your client pricing. Currently, I have it set up where it's $0 for the first 10 pages included in the engagement session, and then $100 for every page thereafter, making it $1,200. And I click add and it will be added to that order form. Or if you are in this window, you can click the plus icon here and we can choose to add that. With WallArt, if you've used a template that has pricing embedded in it, that pricing will auto populate, or you can manually put that pricing in and any notes. The third way to add to an order is simply open the orders tab and you will see all of the items in here. Let's go ahead and remove this print and re-add it. Here we have a print. I click add print 
choose the size you would like to add, any notes, and the quantity. And then the process is the same for cards. An additional flexible way to add products is to use the add other. You can save products here. For example, let's say there is an image box and it is $2,000. Let's go ahead and add that. You'll see the image box here and you know that your studio includes 20 photos in that image box. I'm just going to group select here, but you can manually drag them in. And now I have those images in there. Once everything is finalized, you can click view order and you have a visual representation of that order form and everything that's been ordered. If you don't see your logo, simply click here, add your logo as a PNG. You can change all of these items up here top left. Additionally, this is a saved location. If you have certain legal agreement requirements around your orders, you can paste that in here. And once you have that finalized, you can export this as a printable PDF, letting you and your clients sign off on that. You can export this as a studio management XML file and import into your favorite studio manager like Tave, Studio Ninja, all six of the major studio management softwares in the industry. And finally, you can export a studio worksheet. This will be a text file that you can give to your studio assistant that allows them to view that order and know which images to retouch. And when you're ready to export these items for print, open up the album, go through the usual export process, wall art, usual export process, cards, use the usual export process, but prints and other you can export directly within the module and it will crop that print just as you see in the order form. Additionally, it will take all of the images in that box and export them to a new folder for you for easy ordering on the back end to your lab or print box company. Now, here are some tips for presenting to your clients. If you are showing over Zoom, when you click share screen in Zoom, be sure to click the share computer sound and optimize screen share for video clip. These two are very important to ensure that the slideshow music plays on your client's computer or iPad while they're viewing your slideshow. And the optimized screen share for video just makes those transitions smoother. If you are projecting to your clients like this photographer is doing and you want to project those canvases at actual size, all you need to do is this. With a wall art item open, click on this ruler icon. And then to calibrate this orange line, simply walk up to the projector and measure that orange line with a tip measure and put that into Fundy Designer. And then when you view those images, they will be viewed at actual size. This is a fantastic way to sell your clients and make sure you are selling large wall art. Whether you're new to IPS or a veteran, we hope that this tutorial helps you make at least an extra 50K this year. For more tutorials, be sure to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you at the next tutorial.